So I've been reading this book called Finite and Infinite Games, and there's something that I wanted to share. So a finite game is a game that we play that comes to an end. An infinite game is one that we play that we play in order to keep going. So let's say we have the finite game of career. Like I am an author or I am a business person or a lawyer. These are finite games that we play. These are roles that we take on. The thing that I found most fascinating was that there are there's a difference, James Carr says, between finite players and infinite players. An infinite player is one that takes on the role willingly, whereas a finite player doesn't realize that they have a choice. They veil that choice from themselves. And so there's this, what he calls like the self-veiling. So someone in a finite game, say they're playing the game of a lawyer, they don't realize that it's a choice whether or not they play the game and that it's really just a role that they're taking. They really actually like believe that they are that role. And so what Carr says is that infinite players enter into finite games with all the appropriate energy and self-veiling, but they do so without the seriousness of finite players. It is in fact seriousness that closes itself to consequence for seriousness is a dread of the unpredictable outcome of open possibility. To be serious is to press for a specified conclusion. To be playful is to allow for possibility, whatever the cost to oneself. And so this is the thing. This is the key distinction that is really exciting here. To be an infinite player is to willingly engage in the finite games of culture, to willingly engage in the games of career, of inhabiting roles in family and relationships. You're inhabiting these roles, but you're realizing that you're choosing to inhabit the role, and therefore the seriousness is gone. This is what this is what we're trying to get over. There's being playful, Carr says, is not that there's no consequence. It's rather that we don't need a specified outcome to happen. All of the fun gets taken out of life when we need a specified outcome to happen. When we open ourselves up to the possibility of any outcome, yet choose to play the game, the finite game anyway, this is the infinite game. It's a game that keeps going. We don't need a specified outcome to happen. We're open for whatever outcome to occur, and therefore it's an infinite game. So contemplate this for a bit.